to this charity YouTube channel, please do not forget to click like and subscribe because for today we will be talking about pragmatism philosophy. Who is the leading proponent of pragmatism? The leading proponent of this philosophy is John Dewey, in which he is known for the saying, Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. In pragmatism, truth and meaning of ideas are evaluated. How? According to their physical consequences and practical value. In layman's term, according to the evidences shown. Without enough evidences, then certain ideas, opinions, cases, or news are enough to be called fake news. In pragmatism class, the need to test the validity of ideas or emphasize. How to test the validity of ideas? In this philosophy, to validate ideas empirically, use the scientific method. To understand more about pragmatism, think of this phrase, if something works, it is true. The reason why students should be encouraged to do researches and apply them to the solution of a problem. Now you know the root of research. What else about pragmatism? Relating to education, it believes that the function of education is to enhance human potential to be able to adopt to a constantly changing world. I guess this works for now. The reason why one of the goals of education is to serve the learners with quality education for them to reach their highest human potential. Because this God's given potentials would be their weapon to survive in the constantly changing world. So if you see that the learners are very good in singing, let them sing. If they have potential in dancing, let them dance. Build their self-esteem and confidence to show to the world what they can. So under pragmatism, encourage the learners to do researches and apply them to the solution of a problem. Another, enhance human potential to be able to adapt to a constantly changing world. This time, let's talk about the pragmatist teachers. Who are the pragmatist teachers? Pragmatist teachers are those who believe that education is an experimental process. I'll give you an example for that. Suppose I wanted to know your academic stress. Can I come up into a conclusion that your academic stress is your teacher or your number of units per semester by just asking your opinion? Of course not. For me, to have a valid and reliable data, I need to do a research about it. And to do a research, I need to read a lot of studies, a lot of related literature studies that would really help me in making the research. Then after that, I need to study the methods that I will be using. And when the method is already polished, validation of the reliability of questionnaire comes next. After that, I may already use the questionnaire to gather the information or the data that I need in my study or in my research. Now, if we are going to analyze it under pragmatism, education is an experimental process. It is pro-research. Again, Pragmatism is pro-research. Therefore, idealist teachers believe that to solve a problem, do a good research first before coming up into a major final decision. I guess this concept of pragmatism is very applicable 
when we are making a major final decision, especially if it affects the members of the group. What else? Who are the pragmatist teachers? Those are the teachers who believe that children should learn how to make difficult decisions by considering the consequences of their actions on others. Yes, teach the learners how to catch fish. Teach them the reality of life and learn to accept and face challenges in life. If you want to improve yourself, then wake up and do your part. Work for your dreams. Do not wait for it. For success requires perseverance, determination, and preparation. And when you fall in your decision, stand again. Then learn to accept the consequences of it. If you did your best, then nothing to worry. If you win or lose, then that is the true battle of what we call life. I remember my elementary days. As early as grade 3, I can already help my mother do the laundry. At young age, my parents taught me starting from household chores like cooking, washing the dishes, cleaning the house, and a lot more. Also at early stage of my life, I was able to do farm works already. Yes, I experienced a lot of difficulties in life, but those difficulties helped me in making decisions that made me who I am now. Again, learners should learn how to make decisions by considering the consequences of their actions on others. Are the pragmatist teachers? Those are the teachers who believe that education should focus in the real-life problems to be prepared to live fully and effectively in society. This is the root of contextualizing or localizing the concepts that the teachers use nowadays in teaching. Educators nowadays are encouraged to contextualize and localize the educational materials that are used in teaching. What do I mean with that? When teaching, learners will understand more the concept, learners will understand more the topic if we relate it to their real-life situation. Give examples that are available in their community and very known to them. Example, the topic is about fruit. Instead of using imported fruit like kiwi, pomegranate, blueberries, why not use local fruits? Or fruits that are available and known to their place. If calamansi, rambutan, and pineapple are what are known to them, this should be better to use. This is what pragmatism means. Ang sabi nga, tangkilikin ang sariling atin. About pragmatist teachers, these are the teachers who believe that gone are the days that the students are just seated and listen passively to the teacher. Imagine when you were in elementary or high school. Can you still remember the days when you were asked to find the answer to a certain problem? Or in science, can you still remember your experiment days? Or have you also remembered the days when you were just seated and listened to the lecture of the teacher? Which of the two did you enjoy? Is it the time when you solved the problem with your classmates? Is it the time when you were asked to go outside and make an experiment? I guess it is. Because in this manner, we are learning with our company, with our friends, and in this way, we are learning and at the same time having fun. Meaning, as a future educator, this belief is saying that when you teach, do not just let the learners to stay in the four corners of the room. Let them move, laugh, and learn with their classmates. 
give them the learners time to be involved in collaborative learning where they could share their interests and problems. That's what we mean with the students should learn the process of problem solving rather than by being passive learners as knowledge is being transmitted to them. Regarding with pragmatist teachers, these are the teachers who believe in values verification rather than blindly accepting inherited values. Which I guess better for us as being human. This is somehow part of searching for truth. As a rationalized being or as being the highest form of animal, since we are given the capacity to think, evaluate the values that we encounter before we invite it to our life. What else for pragmatist teachers? These are the teachers who believe that communication technologies such as email and internet provide opportunities to share ideas, insights, and experiences. Is this pragmatism belief true nowadays? Yes. Relating to our situation now, yes. Relating to our situation now, yes, it is true. And this is actually the platform why we can still conduct classes even if in this time of pandemic. This is now the trend in education. Yes, this is now the trend in education. Okay, that's all for pragmatism. Check out your assignment to the next slides. And these are the references that I use. If you really wanted to study more or to read more regarding with pragmatism, please consult these references. Thank you. See you on our next lesson.